on, on the subject of MVP, on the subject of MVP, and this might be a quick, this might be a quick conversation. Um, but it's all's, all's well that ends well. This MVP conversation this year got very messy. Some would call it toxic, yeah. got very contentious, but then Embiid just kind of took it over to the point where Doc Rivers, and I couldn't argue with him, said it's over. The MVP race is over. Is it in fact over, Kurt, as an MVP voter? Or could, at this point, I never thought I'd say this, could Nikola Jokic still pull an upset, if not Giannis for that matter? Uh, I'm almost more likely to vote Giannis first than, than Embiid, but I'm, I'm honest truth, as of today, I, I have a pretty strong lead to Embiid. I, I had it, frankly, before he put up 52 on Tuesday. When I really went back and looked at, look, last year, what were we saying about Embiid and not giving it to him? Well, the defense is a little be is better, but Jokic played better defense last year. And this year, and, there was, and there's always an offensive gap. Well, I think Embiid closed that offensive gap, and Jokic played worse defense this year. Um, and so if, if I'm putting anybody else first, it's in a messy situation like this year, it's really easy to go, who's the best player on the best team? Who's the best player walking the face of the earth on the best team? It's Giannis. They have the best record. Yeah. So it's tempting to go that way, but I'm still, I still think Embiid is the guy who's lifted his team up the most this year, even though there will be plenty of people, Natalie, who will debate that. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah, you got yeah, the right yeah. choice. And I said that to Michael Holly yesterday, that if someone is second or is going to be first, it should be Giannis, not Jokic. In my opinion, Jokic should be third among the three, although they're the top three. And he didn't like that response, right, Michael? Or let me not know. No, no, yeah. well, I, just, he's, I, so, he's, I don't like, I, I just, I don't like the disrespect. I don't, I don't <laughs> like the, the, the shade, the shade thrown at, at Jokic. Way. Like, like right. homeboy just down, yeah. like he just down the street. He didn't. He just down the street. He didn't He's help his. He didn't help his cause with the injury. It's not his fault. Again, calf strain, you know, and calf strain. And this is when we go not to go not to rehash the last conversation, but this is one of those where like he strains his calf right before the playoffs. If this were the postseason, he might be fighting through it. But now you're going to sit him some games, and it's not going to matter in Jokic's case. Like he's going to be all NBA, but. What happens if you sit him a couple games and mean, relatively meaningless games at the end of the season, and it starts to keep you away from from numbers? Or are we going to yeah. get Yana? Are we going to get Yana sent to Kumpo at the All Star break, where he just literally All Star game, right? He scores the first bucket, comes out, sits the rest of the game. That but I played. Well, well go ahead, Mike. Yes, I'm Kurt. quick. Yes, sir. yes, I'm yeah, quick, yeah. Mike. I, I just have a quick on this, I, and I, I think uh, this has been kind of minimized in the Joel Embiid coronation before the season is over. The standings matter here because, you know, they're one game ahead of the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers might finish third uh, in, yeah. in the East, and, and the Sixers No, the standing fourth. the standings only matter against Nikola Jokic. When, oh, when making crazy. the argument against Nikola that's Jokic, crazy. that's when the okay, standings, that's that's when the standings matter. Okay, Jokic you know. won yeah. as, like, oh my gosh, like, what, do you Here she go. Here she they go. were last year? This is what I'm saying. Here she go. Of course, do they she matter? Go. Of course the standings matter. Do the standings matter? matter. Do they, the standings okay. matter. Okay. Yeah, they absolutely matter. So they're they're finish, if they finish fourth, the well, hold on. They're a top three seed in the East. It ain't locked. Hold on. Natalie, Natalie, they're a game up on Cleveland. So they got blown what? out last night. By they can finish fourth. <laughs> what if they finish fourth? That is traditional MVP criteria. <laughs> top three seed, top player. You have the stats. Now, how about fourth though? Cold ass weather. Right you didn't answer my question, Natalie. It's cold ass weather, right dog. <laughs> They're top three seeds. Why does that matter? <laughs> but if they finish, if they finish, because you keep popcorn you keep shouting up top. If, if top three seed matters. What what's wrong with fourth? Or is fourth the problem? Is fourth cool? If they finish no, fourth, not, you still good with No, it's not. But I'm saying the top three is the okay. top of the standings, they and game. they have this. They have the same record. They got a game on Cleveland. Jokic. So like they have the same record as as the Nuggets. So what is your point about the standings and record? That, uh, because he hasn't lifted his team to the top spot in the conference. You told me yesterday that the that the West is so interesting and the better storylines, all this stuff. But in the West, have to Denver's be the first. One record. He's Denver's, at the top. Denver's first in the West. Philadelphia is about a game that. away from but look at this. They're a I game away. They're, they're, they're a game that. and a half. They got a game and a half. You got a game and a half. 
I love the hypocrisy. Last year, I said that the 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 Sixers had a better record than the Nuggets, and everyone said, "Oh, it's not a big difference in the record." And I said, "But they are higher in the East than Jokic is in the West, so that is of more value to his team than it is of of of, of Jokic." Your conference. And it was dismissed. It's how you do now your you're conference. trying to say. Now you're you trying to say it. number oh, one team. But look, I give it to Giannis anyway. Have to be I give the it to Giannis right now. Team. I give it, it's not Jokic versus. It's not Jokic versus M- Embiid. I'm giving it to Giannis. Giannis is my MVP. I'm just saying, like, no. for a guy who's lifted his team, he's lifted his team to where? To what? What have they done? Oh, come on. Where's All he right. lifted? So, what, 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 what if, have if they I done? Could, if, I could, I if, I could, if I could, if I could interrupt real quick. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> there's, a scene, there's a scene in Brown Sugar. Where uh-huh. Tay Diggs and Sanaa Lathan are fussing and Queen Latifah walk past like, what y'all going through? That's what I want to know between the two of y'all. In my <laughs> absence, what y'all going through? Like, I come back and I'm like, what's, what's that? He likes to give me I see. I see. I'm he here couldn't for do it. it yesterday, and that's what this I'm is. I'm here that's for it. it. Listen, I listen. Mm-hmm. I would love nothing more than just come on this show and just be a guest and watch you two go at it. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.